Okay, so this is my CVS haul that I did today. I actually got to go out to um, CVS and then I went to a thrift haul. But first I'll go over my CVS. Eggs have been so darn expensive lately at our grocery store. It's still like $5.99. So CVS has a sale this week until Saturday. These are $3.29 each. I came in with a $5 ECB. So it only came out to be... A dollar fifty-eight for the both of those for us. I had to get some more of the eighty-one milligram um, aspirin, and and uh, so this was regular price at six ninety-nine. But on my phone, there was like a dollar off of any five dollar um, in aspirin purchase, so I used that. So that was five ninety-nine. And then the Pepsi, the Pepsi is on sale this week for ninety-nine cents. And if you scan your extra care card, it gives you off another 24 cents. It's only 75 cents, one per card. So I got that. And then um, what you don't see is I purchased a Snickers. <laughs> and there's a couple of candies out there that you can purchase. I think it's like for 99 cents or something. And then you get back 75 cents in ECB. So that was my CVS haul. For my thrift store, I found this really pretty, um, like a glass container box, and it was only for $2.98. So that really caught my eye, so I figure I'm sure I can use this for something when I'm organizing. I'm really not quite sure what I'm gonna be using that for, but um, definitely want to get that at that price. And then I purchased, um, a planting pot and this was only for 98 cents so um, I could always use pots so yeah so that's what I did today it was kind of nice to get out and run some errands and um, so good good haul kind of rushing around and um, I'm going to actually sold these shirts on clothes five and that was a pretty good I danced it going through like a garage sale or something like that. And I sold that one for, let's see, it was eight. And this really nice lady, she bought that one on eight. And then I'm selling this one. This one's barely even used. It's by the INC. It's a really pretty shirt. And then the other one oops, that I'm selling is, or that I sold really, is this really pretty, it's a, Lane Bryant. This one only like wore like two times, I think. And it's really pretty though. It's, it's sheer see-through kind of, but you have to have a tank top underneath there. So anyways, I'm going to meet with this lady who bought all three shirts. Also, I'm grabbing my Powerball tickets for my mom and us. So wish us luck on that. And then as well as, this is my first bottle for this morning. I'm trying to drink more H2O. I'm following um, my everyday life wife. So check her um, YouTube channel out. I'll put her description out the um, description box. So yeah, so that's it for right now. Okay, so I am on my way to go meet with the lady who I met on Close 5 to do a transaction of selling my three shirts. Close 5 is just an app that I found that allows me to sell and to purchase items with my local neighbors and you can set a range from like a mile to, to five miles. And I'm trying to declutter and get rid of work clothes because I haven't worked for a while now. So I figured once I start a new job and I'm getting back into my career, then um, I'll reward myself with a brand new wardrobe, right? So I have to get rid of some of these stuff and they're really nice clothes. So I wanna make sure it goes to people who appreciate and they won't give me like a quarter for my stuff. So um, anyways, I am ready to go and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so just got my my Powerball tickets for my mom and I and my husband. Wish us luck. Um, there was no line. I couldn't believe it. I met with the one lady and she was very nice. Oh my God. Very nice. And now she's really looking forward to watching all of my posting for as my clothes go. So that was a win-win situation. So before everyone's all staring at me, I'm going to go ahead and um, talk to you guys later. 
This is a recipe of my mom's famous meatloaf. You can use any kind of ground meat. We use ground beef as shown, as well as any barbecue sauce you might have on hand. You would also need a loaf or a casserole dish. First of all, you'd need one full green bell pepper diced. You would toss that into your meat. Next, you would need either one onion. Here I use three-fourths of a white onion. Then you would need two eggs, which you would just toss into the mixture. And then you would need one slice of bread. Here I have wheat bread. You can use white, sourdough, whatever you might have on hand. Then I would find some garlic powder, here as shown, and then you would sprinkle as much as you desire on top. And then depending on how much salt you like, I shake a few shakes of salt, as well as um, shaking a bit of ground pepper. And then you would mix all of this mixture up really well, and then you place it into your loaf pan. And then you would take a piece of foil, and then you would tightly wrap that up, and then you would place that in the oven at 375 degrees for a good 45 minutes. You would then take it out and drain any excess oil and you would place back into the oven to get it brown for additional 15 minutes under 400 degrees. Once you take that out and it's all brown as shown, then you place your barbecue sauce on top. And you put that for another 15 minutes and then voila, you got your meatloaf and you're ready to eat.